Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin daily update. Before we go there, make sure to join our monthly subscription, guys. It is tested and it gives you easy profits. I have the link in the description down below. I have also the link for the Telegram group chat. We are a community, guys, that grow fast, so fast, and we talk about many, many crypto things each day, right? So you want to join in. I have the link in the description down below as well. So let's go back now to the death cross, the so-called death cross, guys. When you hear it, you s it sounds like a very bearish situation, right? It sounds like something extremely bearish. But what it is? It is when the 50-day EMA, the red line, meets the 200 EMA, the white line. When both meet and, of course, they cross each other in the downfall, when the 50-day EMA goes beyond the 200 EMA, this is the so-called death cross. But, of course, guys, even before the death cross occurs, we knew that here in the channel that we are going down from 34,000 Tether USD and we will go all the way down to 27,000 Tether USD. Should we worry about the death cross? What does a death cross mean? First of all, to, uh, to answer this, guys, we need to go a little back in time, right? I will just go a little back in time. Let's say this death cross right here, guys. 14th March, 13th March, 2020. You can see, once this death cross happened, and the 200 EMA met the 50-day EMA, we had our bottom line here. So after the death cross, we moved upwards, guys. So there, there it is, a death cross that didn't have the effect of going down, right? The price was going upwards while we met the death cross. Because, guys, the price comes first, the price action comes first, then the cross is between the exponential moving averages, right? The averages lag a bit behind of the price action. You should always know that. So a death cross doesn't necessarily mean that we are losing our space, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that. But let's go to the previous, previous bull run. The previous guy's bull run back in 2017. You can see here, when the death cross happened, we had a pump up of around 50%. Does this mean that we will have around 50% price action now? No, this doesn't mean that, guys, because now things might be different. This is a general rule that applies, but it is not, guys, it's just a statistic. We cannot assume that we will have a 50% price pump up, right? We can't assume that. So now we had a dead cross. All I'm saying is that we had a dead cross back in the day. We went up. But after, guys, after, you can see the downfall that we had, right? You can see that we went all the way down to 3,000 Tether USD for Bitcoin. So that means, guys, but because we might have a swing high doesn't mean that we will go all the way upwards for Bitcoin. So eventually... If I go nowadays, guys, let's go nowadays to see what will happen. Even if we go up to 46,000 Tether USD, it doesn't mean that we won't necessarily go down after, right? It means for sure, guys, that we will be testing the 27,000 Tether USD. I mean, think, this thing, I think, is inevitable. I don't think we approach the bottom for Bitcoin. I believe even if we have a swing high, we are going down here. So this thing, guys, I just covered a little bit of the death cross to realize that a death cross means nothing else than the price action. It follows the price action, right? So it doesn't mean anything. It sounds so bearish, but at the same time, things happen because we already know even before the death cross that things will happen right so don't worry about the death cross the death cross also guys you should always remember that in this group we talked about the 27000 tether usd long time before the death cross so this means guys eventually even if we have the swing high we are going down 
Let's go now to the 4-hour frame to see a little bit more of a short-term price analysis for Bitcoin, right? Because we need that too. First of all, you can see the higher low pattern we are forming for Bitcoin. Eventually, going down to 34,000 Tether USD, guys, going down from this line will mean that we might lose our position and go even further down. We won't just continue forming our higher low pattern, so we will be sure that we are going to 42,000 Tether USD, which is our next price target in the swing high, right, for Bitcoin. So for now, we haven't lost our position. Even if Bitcoin crashes here, you can see Bitcoin is crashing, but we don't, we haven't lost our position yet. And I believe, due to the Bitcoins being in an oversold situation, we will start soon seeing Bitcoin going upwards again. You can see when the commodity channel is below minus 100, we are going upwards again. So do not worry about these minor corrections that happen all the time that they are very, very healthy. We haven't lost our position yet to see the so-called swing high of Bitcoin. Many people believe that this was our bottom here and we won't go down. I, I really hope that's the case, guys. I really hope that Bitcoin found its bottom and now we are just moving sideways till we go all to all time highs. But in my opinion, I really doubt that. I don't think this is going to happen. I think after the swing high, we might fall. And what I told in the group, guys, is that on the swing high, we might approach the 41,000 Tether USD to 42, even 46,000 Tether USD. But you have a very high risk. If you want to swing trade here, you are having a very high risk. So on the guys on the death cross, let's go back on the daily frame to see some things here. On eventual death cross, this doesn't mean that Bitcoin will move down fast, right? We might have the death cross, but Bitcoin goes upwards. We have seen that going on and we might see that too as well. But that doesn't mean, guys, that Bitcoin will move up, up 50%. 50% is like moving up, like, let's say, guys, to uh, around, 50% is like moving around the 55,000 Tether USD, which I think it is unlikely to happen. I don't think we are going to see a pump up this much. However, we can go to 46,000 Tether USD, right? It is uh, possible to go there. But for the time being, let's test the 42,000 and then we will realize if we can go to 46,000 Tether USD. Let's take this step by step. On the daily frame, you can see we had an overbought situation. That's why we are correcting right now. And I was talking to the team all the time in the Telegram group chat. I was saying that be careful, we have an overbought situation here. So now we are correcting. We found the resistance level on the 200 EMA or the 41,000 Tether USD. Which, whichever thing you call it is fine. And now we are correcting a little bit. Does that mean we are going all the way down now? No, it does not mean that, guys. If you go to the 4-hour frame, you will, real, you will realize that we are in an oversold situation and we have this price right here. So we expect a swing high soon, right? On the daily, I will show you something very, very useful. You can see here we are having lower highs in the RSI pattern. This means, guys, that eventually, if we stop seeing that and we go above this line, then this means that the Bitcoin can easily go to 46,000 Tether USD. And I believe we can do it, guys, because we are getting lower highs here. You can see on the RSI, we are getting lower highs. Eventually, what we want to do is to break this resistance level. Once we do that, and of course, still having the higher low pattern we have, on the daily RSI, we are absolutely set to go even higher. If we break this resistance level, 42,000 Tether USD is easily attainable, even 46,000 Tether USD. But of course, guys, we are experiencing a very high risk because don't forget we are in a bearish market. We are not in a bearish cycle, but we are in a bearish market. And how did we know if we go to the weekly frame, guys? Apart from the week of distribution, how did we know we are heading down, right? How did we know that? First of all, guys, we had on the weekly frame lower highs. Let me delete these circles here to see what I'm talking about. We had lower highs even if the price was going up. 
when you are seeing lower highs in the RSI indicator but higher highs in the price action, we are approaching a top. Same happened here with the commodity channel index, guys. We were approaching a top because we were seeing lower highs as well. You can see another cross that happened. This was for me the death cross for Bitcoin, the MACD cross, bearish cross in the weekly frame. And it happened back on 19th April. And I told you guys back then, due to the technical analysis, I don't think Bitcoin can go even higher, right? And so we formed the bearish cross. I would tell you that this was the death cross for me, guys. This one right here was the death cross for me. The MACD cross in the weekly frame. The blue line crossing the signal line, the orange line, and going further down. So eventually, guys, after this cross, we could identify three ways, apart from Wyckoff's distribution, that we were approaching a top. So therefore, guys, I believe we will go down furthermore on the weekly frame, on the more of a midterm. For the short term, we can have our Shanghai moment. We haven't lost anything, even with this crash we are experiencing right now. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. See you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.